stop slowly everyone and this time we are going to introduce the whole world in the mic web, the mic is uh, in the mic. And we'll introduce our web teams and the skills of the feeding and response. This talk will be done by me and my co partners. First, let's introduce myself. My name is Jen Zhong Li, and Hansel uh, Bong is my nickname. Uh, I know what you are thinking. <laughs> All right, I'm not Hansel. <laughs> I started uh, working on news distribution in 2014 and then become open healing your local uh, data maintainer. Now I'm the open healing uh, technical committee member in the described seek uh, maintainer. Open healing community is an open source community based by uh, many people from different places. And, uh, we are maps to build an easy to use desktop web desktop operating system. Uh, the image on the right is our UI of the key, uh, which has desktop and uh, tablet modes. And uh, suppose running on X86 app and the respire activation. And the below is our home page. You can go there for more information. Respire is an imaging open source instruction set architecture. It offers numerous benefits, including uh, flexibility, scalability, and uh, security. Uh, our team is dedicated to exploring the potential applications and uh, contributing to the development of this uh, technology. Our team has many Respire wardens involved, including as Kelly Fighter and uh, Deep Computing, Starfire, uh, T Head, Tiger Lake, and uh, so on. This is the framework of our work on this file. For the hardware, we choose high file mesh, vision file, and uh, Xuanti. In the kernel layer, we adapt the optimize according to the hardware characteristics including power management, rapid display support, computing library, and so on, to improve our performance. Also, we build an easy-to-use desktop environment called Lambda UPUI uh, to give use a friendly experience and uh, for the application. Uh, we create an application compatible way based on QMU or to enrich the application ecosystem in which the application of the S86 architecture can run directly on the S5 architecture. And this is our main from platform architecture, from source code to packaging compilation to imaging generation and to unite testing. Both management and the translation management are also connected to our iterator. We try to automate the process as much as possible, including automated code uploading and automated testing of the daily images. For respire related compilation work, we mostly do it based on QMU due to the lack of devices. Uh, since the end of last year, we have had almost 300 uh, inspired packages compiled successfully. Our goal is to build an open healing respire version, which with a rich software ecosystem and a seamless user experience. Uh, to achieve this, we are heavily focused on hardware platform adaptation and uh, the software ecosystem. And next, uh, my partner, Dr. Wang, will show our specific work in those areas. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Wang Wenzhu, and I'm from the 
uh, hyper-library of people, uh, information technology and application innovation in Tianjin, China. Uh, as a member of the Open KV uh, Technical Committee and uh, Respile Stick Owner, I'm thrilled to be here uh, sharing uh, our work with you. Uh, my teammate Li Jianfeng has already introduced uh, the work of the open healing community, uh, which covers software compilation and the system structure. Structure. Uh, in my part, I will elaborate our other work uh, in, in initiatives related to a uh, risk file. First of all, uh, let me talk about the hardware adaptation. For, uh, for risk file is a new and promising ISA architecture, uh, but it also faces uh, some challenges due to its uh, uh, early stage and uh, lack of unified uh, standards. This makes it uh, difficult to adapt uh, operating system on different risk style hardware platforms. Uh, therefore, we have been uh, working to uh, make authentication compatible with various risk style uh, devices and ensure uh, optimal performances. performance. Uh, the first is to improve the uh, power management module. Uh, this involves uh, modifications uh, to the device tree of file and the kernel driver to enable the operation and uh, of the power management chip. Uh, then we can perf uh, perform device shutdown, uh, restart, and uh, other functions. Uh, secondly, we are working to optimize uh, the system startup uh, to and uh, reduce unnecessary service, uh, service items. Uh, this ensures a uh, faster boot and uh, efficient uh, 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 reduce the boot time. Yes, certainly we configure, configure the, uh, the operating system environment uh, to ensure the normal rules are for like a screen, a screen displays, network cards, and the USB devices. Okay, as we all know, GPU is a key factor that impacts the user experience. Therefore, we have uh, developed a, a complete GPU software stack uh, to provide a seamless uh, user experience. The first uh, component is the driver in the Linux kernel. Uh, this driver controls the GPU hardware device managing the uh, input and the output of computing tasks. Uh, the second component involves adapting and uh, calling GPU related libraries, uh, including MESA, uh, GStreamer, LabGL, and uh, other labs, uh, which are essential for GPU. Uh, thirdly, we have completed the adaptation between OpenKD UPI and uh, the uh, other software uh, to ensure the normal use of GPU in desktop environment. Uh, finally, user mobile applications such as uh, radio playback and uh, web browsers are modified to utilize the GPU library calls. This results in a uh, higher performance and a better vision experience for the user. So building a, a rich software ecosystem for this value is another key task that we have been uh, actively pursuing. Firstly, we have created a, a suite of tool, uh, tools and resources aimed at helping developers use, use uh, this file more easily. Uh, this includes the uh, uh, comprehensive this file tool chain that includes compilers uh, assemblers, debugger, uh, debuggers, and other essential components. Uh, additionally, we have created a software library that uh, provides uh, a range of calling functions and uh, modules for risk-based uh, systems. 
This library includes various drivers and uh, utilities that uh, enable quickly leverage the functionality of uh, the Restyle hardware. Also, we have built uh, the basic user applications such as uh, Firefox, LibreOffice, FFPAC, and the uh, open uh, self -soft, uh, software, yeah, which can meet the basic needs for the uh, daily work. So finally, we have uh, established the document and the support channels to help developers uh, learn about the restyle and address any problems they may encounter. Another way to enrich the software ecosystem is a binary translation. Uh, this allows application designed for one essay uh, to run on another essay uh, device. For example, uh, I post uh, Rosita 2 uh, enables M1 and M2 chip, uh, chips to run x86 applications. Yeah. So there are also many uh, open source projects that can achieve uh, cross cross platform software compatibility. Uh, in OpenKD, we're also working on this area, trying to make uh, uh, x86 uh, applications compatible with this environment. You will have uh, many of the two technicals to improve the performance, uh, including uh, local library wrapping and the dynamic block uh, hatching. A local library wrapping is necessary to translate uh, uh, library files uh, from the source platform uh, to target platform with translation or without translation overhead. Uh, this allows the uh, platform to directly call the APIs of the uh, local library, avoiding the translation process and greatly improving the, improving the system performance. This is the uh, dynamic block catching. Uh, it's a, another powerful te technique. As we all know, a small amount of code is uh, executed for the majority of the time, such as the while loop and the for loop. Uh, by catching translated code, we can avoid the need to retranslate them each time. So instead, we can use the previously translated code which saves time and improves the overhead system performance. Catching of code blocks can be implemented using different strategies uh, based on uh, specific application uh, scenarios. So finally, let me briefly introduce uh, our version release work. Uh, it is very important to make uh, open healing accessible and available uh, to as many uh, people as possible. Uh, since we released uh, uh, the first uh, open healing version 0.7 on July 2022, we have updated four uh, version, versions, each of which fixed the previous bugs and adds some new features. Uh, for example, in version 0.7, we supported VLAN and uh, adapted uh, OpenKey's self-developed software. In uh, version 0.7.5, we improved the system stability. In 0.9.5, we provided the latest uh, UKY desktop environment. So our goal is to make uh, OpenKey on this file robust uh, desktop operating system that can be used by a wide range of users from desktop enthusiasts and developers to uh, researchers and artists. Uh, so far, OpenKeyLink can run on five restyle platforms, including Hevel Image, Vision Level 1 and Vision Level 2, t uh, uh, and uh, also the uh, Cubin. So the total number of uh, downloads for all versions have reached uh, uh, 14,000 in under a year, from July of last year until now. And we hope to see an increasing number 
of this kind of users in the future. <coughs> now I'm very uh, excited to introduce Roma, the world's first laptop that comes with open heating pre-installed. We have equipped the system with basic uh, application software and the development environment to provide a great use experience for enthusiasts and users. So uh, let's please welcome Mr. Yang Yunyi, the founder and the CEO of Xcalibat, who will introduce the Roma laptop to us. Hi, everyone. Thank you for this great, um, a great introduction on the open heating stuff in the first stuff. And um, I tell you the story why I started to um, uh, making the first laptop of my life. You know, I run a software co company called Xterabyte. We used to make uh, uh, compilers based on Open64. And, and, um, and we decided to make a laptop and to try to get it mass produced to, from um, a software guy like me and see how hard it is. It, it's quite hard. <laughs> so, yeah. and, and this is, this is the reason. Now, the reason is that we want to have an experience of 86 and we can carry our arm and play with it and we can compile this like code straight away. We don't need any code compiling. And a lot of uh, project open source is not uh, supported on uh, host compiling files anyway. So, and 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 I want to try the the latest this by SOC twelve nanometer to see how many problems in in, in manufacturing and especially uh, on mass production. I, I met a lot of problems, especially in two thousand and two. The whole COVID things in China is in mass. So, uh, and this is the quote from uh, Mark this uh, by International. He says. Yeah, if we can get native development now, we can accessory this by um, uh, 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 yeah, software ecosystems, <coughs> open kit in the more libraries and, and so on and so forth. And and look at the um, the, the our laptop. This is laptop is the thing is thing is um uh, I can find can do, and we we'll try try it hard, try everything hard, right? And and um. It will support um, now open heating and possible uh, Chrome OS in the future. So, and we make some speciality, for example, we, we spend a lot of effort in, in trying to recycle and stuff and making the, the, the box and like the stand. And we make a very special hotkey called Spike. And we let's get rid of the window. So that's the point. And yeah, you will see if, if, see if the window can. can can show me here. So let's see whether we can see wheel. Let's see bigger. Bigger. And bigger. So I don't, I'm not sure you can see. But anyway, you can see this is a real, real risk five things, right? And running on, on, on. It's not joking, okay? So let's see the R key, see whether it works. Remember R key for what? And browser what? It takes a while to pop up. So you can see it's very buggy, very slow. But the point is that uh, why we have to make the first step? Just nine, ten years ago, when ARM has the first 64 bit, it's far worse than now. Right? We, this is the first uh, 12 nanometer 64 bit uh, SOC. So, and, and it's not, uh, in my experience, I put the first uh, ARM 64 bit on Android uh, for Huawei. So I, have, I, know, I know all the pain things. I think now, at least 5 64 bit, if that kind of performance is far better than ARM 10 years ago. And we look forward to another 10 years, and this five will go beyond much quicker than now. That's all. So, this you can see the, the browser is here, it's very slow, very buggy. So, and we get better. And especially in, in May, we have a mesh produced versions, 
So on a lot more stable, the software look better. So you look at uh, now, this year, we try uh, 12 nanometer, you will see, then we might have a mesh reduced problem. Probably might not be going through the stress testing, heat testing, all the stuff, but the 22 nanometer is fine, perfectly fine. And, and we will looking forward to the end of the year, we support um, 64 uh, core, uh, very thick uh, laptop coming up, PUB for developer carry around, and with a quick fat factory, and you can turn on and off all the cores. Whatever you like, but that and and we look forward to uh, Jim Keeler to roll out a very big fat IP coming out and and probably seven nanometers. So we, we we look forward to the all the trend and of course and we we gonna cooperate with Open Kitty with a lot of programs for on on the user uh, um, the the community program. So we we are going to do some. Um, um, uh, before for all the uh, all the people contributing back to kidding and uh, our hardware products so and and that's the painful things I use the thing is laptop structure and with the highest performance uh, 12 nanometer first ever in in, in making a, a laptop with a software guy and no experience uh, the painful times right and and we, we go through you can see this is the, the pictures that the, the SOC uh, not designed good enough for mass produce, and we need a very high precision uh, shouldering. Uh, just like uh, 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 mobile phone. But mobile phone is a lot of uh, high volume, and I can't put the capacity at all for just doing the shouldering on the board. Uh, but anyway, we get it, we, we get it done by, we get it along by, by some help, uh, good friends. And this is our motherboard. So the motherboard, we have a, 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 a we call it a SOM module, we can plug it in, and the motherboard we're going to reuse. We try to reuse, especially after a while, we have our own uh, chipset coming out, we will all, the motherboard won't change. And, but the, the, the SOM will change according to the SOC upgrade. So it's a very ambitious, um, ambitious project, but it's a very painful, but you know, like Peter, you know, been, been chasing me for, for, for fun, but we, we're getting there, and we will get there. And yes, we will, we, we will open source our motherboard, so everybody can take a look and how to, how to um, uh, make a laptop, very easy, very simple. Now, from our experience, we can say that we will, eight to 10 weeks, we will swap a new C, uh, SOC. And we can mass produce the, uh, uh, a thousand laptops that quick. And and yeah, and we will uh, gonna have um, hopefully in around uh, June we're gonna have a push trap uh, uh, reward program. Now all the money coming from Peter, we're gonna reward back to the market. So whoever help us making better product for risk five or open kitty, we're gonna reward them. Right. So and yes, we we have a very good. Um, relationship with Open Kidding, hopefully, and we can run a very good international version of Open Kidding with exactly the same as uh, Ubuntu or now. All right, that's our goal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, questions? Anybody? Any questions? Here you go. So yeah, so um, I got one of the original RISC five chips that was ever made, and they did the thing going. And I'm kind of curious, like, where are you seeing compared to like the I like the ARM is a good progression, right? How do you feel like it's going to come out as far as uh, power versus performance as it, as it evolves? Uh, on the hardware side, I would say that is um, is a chicken and egg problem. You know, and and the power and performance always uh, a triangle balance, and and I would say uh, hopefully the battery. If, if I say that we're trying to compare x86, and I would think it's better, but if for ARM, I don't know. But right? in the short term, no. But you give it enough time, three to five years, and my yeah, of course. Yeah, you can 
And and the point is that we need the one thing now. Um, all the SOC people, company called the board, they always want to produce a development board. It's not the final product. That makes the uh, the the growing is hard. You got to go into a mass product no matter how crap it is, right? So to move it, it will kick quicker. Otherwise, everybody waiting the showing of the the development board is not going to help. But you got to test the market, and if you fail, then you make it better. You know where the better at the moment. The development board can't tell you where it's better, where it's good, where it's bad. That's my question. Hopefully, I answer your question. All right, more questions in the back. Hey, it's, it's really great to see a, another open laptop. I'm curious about the case in the shell. Uh, is that something that you've developed all the ID yourself, or is there a, a library that you can go to that gives you things like the screen and the touchpad and all that, you know, like a standard uh, display connection, things like that? And and I would say that uh, all these uh, in 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 southern China, the Bay Area, they have a lot of uh, we call it uh, common mode. Like basically, is that you can pick uh, of the libraries, and then people can just mesh produce it with no uh, copyright and blah 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 whatever it is. And and there's some fancy things, there's some untested things, and like this one actually is mesh produced in in x86. And in the latest i7, and uh, this year from i9 to bigger screen, so we use the, uh, uh, the the tested version of it, the structure, and and we just change the board uh, to to this part. Does that mean you're thinking of doing it again? <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> welcome. Basically, I would say that anything help uh, this time get up and whoever is getting ambitions, that would be. That's why I. I go through all the Pingo experience, and I don't want the world to meet it again. That's why we open source it. Okay. You mentioned that you're going to mass produce soon. Uh, will this mass produce version will be serviceable? Uh, will it be DIY friendly? Will it be easy for me to replace the screen, replace the battery, change the keyboard? No. Um. And I, I think I, we will mesh produce this one. And if the screen and all these things, as long as you fit in the structure, that's possible. But if it's not, then it's not, right? It's, it's not a modular, uh, it's not a full modular uh, 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 design yet. When I look at in Chrome, uh, Chrome and Google, this, they did do design uh, uh, make a, a modular phone book. But the problem is that when you become modular and the price go up in the mesh produce. For example, the 22 nanometer we're going down, we're looking into going down to uh, $500 US dollars. All right. And 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 the, the bomb, you know, uh, besides whatever the overhead, whatever we're running uh, production line up to whatever we uh, you know the bomb. So it, 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 we had to leverage the, the common use. So we share a lot of components with x86. X, x Otherwise, you won't get that chip at all. All right, another question. So we can do that. Are you familiar with the framework laptop? Have you seen how they're doing? Yeah, I heard about it. But it's not going to get, um, uh, get the price down. Yeah, the, the, the supply chain is where, where we you have to reuse components as much as you can. Yeah, otherwise, you even you're modular, but you know you module with nobody. You module with your own self. Uh, so you have to be sharing. Share as much as you can. Yeah, and, and take the fancy structuring and change it and, and share as many components as you can. And that will make, make, make it better. And at, at the end of the day, the laptop, Battery and basically the motherboard thing is no change except Wi Fi. Go, go, go quicker, whether six, whether seven, or anything else in that chain. So if there's no point you keep changing a laptop for the motherboard. Anymore. So that's why, that's why we call it, uh, we're trying to SOA module stuff. Hopefully, you get it. Yes, question. Uh, Hello, my name is Jason. Uh, 
uh, how support the existential and paper uh, standard USB and HDMI? Yeah, everything. Everything on x86. Like HDMI, Type C, blah, 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 blah. Type C. Yeah. Type C. That yeah. means uh, display, USB. Board, display board and uh, yeah. Yeah, everything. analog audio and, uh, and everything. Uh, same, same as your, <laughs> your mobile. <laughs> wow, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <check. laughs> All right, uh, just one more question. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned about this is a 12 nanometer uh, SOM. So that also by, by, by your team? The, the, the chip itself? No, not the chip itself. The chip we use in Starfy. We will use all the SOC on the market and try to make the engineering more chips. You know, like a um, uh, crazy guy like Peter, we will ship all these crazy things during the testing. Right. So it, it just, it, uh, to be honest, Respy isn't ready for, for low mode use. Mm -hmm. But it's ready for the developer. The crazy developer have a dream about this by grow bigger than now in ten years time like us. Mm -hmm.